Jamestown in 1607, tobacco farming has been a foundation of the South. And with Virginia growers observing 400 years of production this year, many are proud of their heritage. If you choose to consume our product, that's great. If you choose not to, that's fine. But I plan on staying in this business of uh, growing and harvesting the baca for as long as I can. And, and I'll continue to do it and hope to pass it on to, to my, my son and maybe future generations. The industry has been under pressure for years. This summer's mega merger between Reynolds American and Lorillard further fueling the uncertainty. But corporate shakeups don't appear to be affecting the farmers. Well, from the grower standpoint, the impact will be minimal. Uh, this is the same trend that we've seen in the tobacco industry for years, consolidation because it's a mature industry and of course cigarette consumption in the United States declining. Despite that, the value of the U.S. tobacco crop has stayed strong, about $1.5 billion in 2013, thanks to demand from overseas. Virginia tobacco in particular is still going strong. There will continue to be a demand uh, for tobacco specifically from, from the Old Belt region of Virginia and North Carolina simply because of the quality of the leaf that's produced in, in this part of uh, the United States. Big tobacco may face changes, but change is a bit slower to arrive on the Virginia farms. Matthew Burgoyne, Associated Press.